Hey guys, Coach Liz here. I am excited to share with you our healthy habit for the week. Um, we are in element 25 in your life book. Now, just a side note, if you do not have this life book, email me and I will connect you with how to get this. Um, it's written by Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson with his Habits of Health System. And honestly, you could spend years in therapy, going, um, you know, personal development seminars, spending hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they will teach you like exactly what is in this amazing book. I love it. All of our clients work through it because the biggest part of your health transformation is the mindset, right? Your mind is always going to match up to where your habits are. Your body and your mind are going to match up. So if you change your body, but you don't change your mind, your body's going to go back to where you were, where your mind was comfortable. So it's so important to make those changes and to be doing the brain work. This is your, your gym work for the brain, right? Um, is in your life book. So element 25, we are talking about the habits of longevity. Now, what does that mean to you? Longevity. How long do you want to live? Do you want to live to be 80, 90, 100 years old or more? Wouldn't that be amazing? But also more importantly, how do you want the quality of your life to be? Do you want to be in your 80s or even in your 70s or 60s and be in chronic pain, not be able to enjoy the things that you love to do, have medication and doctor bills that you can't afford, um, being sick all the time and um, not being comfortable in your own skin? And I just, I just feel like that would be miserable. All right, if you want to live your very best life, you want to enjoy it, right? You want to feel good, you wanna have energy, you wanna be able to move your body, you want to be able to adventure and explore and really love the life that you're living. And that's what this chapter talks about, is longevity, how to enjoy the rest of your life. And a few things that I love about this chapter, it covers so many important things. It covers um, things that you can do in your environment to be safer, right? Like wearing your seatbelt, um, not smoking, not drinking too much, you know, all of those things that you can do in your environment, getting your yearly checkup, making sure you go to the dentist. Did you know that inflammation, a lot of inflammation is caused in your mouth. So if you have, um, cavities, tartar buildup, that can cause inflammation in your body. So make sure you're going to the dentist. Um, and a huge one is reaching and maintaining a healthy weight, right? It drastically lowers your risk for disease if you're at a healthy weight and you're maintaining healthy habits. And um, also, um, once you get to that goal weight, right, that's what I help you with, right? Getting to that goal weight, um, but there's more. That's just the first step in our program. After we hit that healthy weight and get you to that healthier place, then we transition into the optimization phase. This is where the fun really begins, where we just work on continuing to be healthy and getting better. And so you actually have a plan and a guide to help you after that weight loss phase, because that's where a lot of people struggle is once they get to that goal, they don't really know what to do. They haven't really made changes mentally and they start going backwards, back to those old habits that's so easy to do. So just remember, if you are in your weight loss phase right now, just know that that's the first step in this journey of health and happiness. Once you get to that healthy weight, you get to um, work on getting better, right? You get to up your exercise and you get to, you know, um, add all the food groups back in and just really enjoy that healthy life. So I love that those healthy habits are key. I'm just going to run through those really quick. There are high five. These are the five habits that we're working on during this weight loss phase, but we're also going to incorporate into the rest of our life to have longevity in our life. So those habits are, number one, drinking your water. How are you doing with drinking your water? Did you realize that this is a lifelong habit, that you always wanna be drinking your water? It's going to help you your whole life. The second thing is balanced meals every three hours, right? Balancing your blood sugar is not just for weight loss. Yes, it's amazing. But when you learn to balance your blood sugars, you can have energy. You can keep your metabolism up. You can do the things that you want to do without being cranky and hungry and your body storing fat and inflammation. It keeps your inflammation down. So balancing blood sugar is huge um, by eating small balanced meals every three hours. The third is sleep, making sure you get your sleep. So important. Exercise, incorporating exercise, building muscle. As you age, you lose muscle mass. So you want to be working on building muscle. And then the fifth is mindset, working on managing your stress. 
right? Overcoming emotional eating and buffering, because that's where a lot of people get into trouble is they get stressed, they get emotional, they get tired, um, and they want to cover up those emotions, so they're eating, and they're eating unhealthy things. And so learning how to manage those emotions and manage your stress um, is so empowering. So those are my quick high fives to remind you, those are the habits that are going to take you into long-term happiness and longevity. So check out element 25 in your life book. And I would love for you to think of just a couple things that you want to um, do long-term to make sure that you stay healthy, not just get healthy for the holidays or for the summer, but that you stay feeling great. That is the goal. All right. Have a good week. I'll talk to you later.